All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin today's talk. So we're going to speak about managing the open source supply chain. This is a topic that sounds simple on the surface, but contains some of the greatest challenges and opportunities for open source. So, more volume? All right, I'm gonna go back and do that again. <laughs> Today, we're talking about managing the open source supply chain. Managing the open source supply chain is one of the greatest challenges and opportunities around open source today. The value in open source is not really code. It's about efficiency. So it's about efficient code creation, efficient code support, and efficient code evolution. That's what the value is in open source. That's where you get the money. That's where you get the products. That's where you get the results. Now, the power behind that value is having many contributions available to everyone. This very simple concept is what drives the economics of open source. And it's the reason that open source is far more than a hobby, far more than an interest, but it drives multi-billion dollar industries globally. Now, open source works because everyone gets the same code under the same rules. That's a simple concept that means that we all know we're getting the same thing under the same rules. So no matter what our language, no matter what our market sector, we know that we're getting a fair deal. Open source relies on predictable, fair collaboration. And that predictable, fair collaboration, as far as we can tell, allows for infinite scaling. Projects like the Linux kernel started very small and are scaling and scaling and scaling with no apparent limits. Every time we think, well, it can't get faster, it can't get more efficient, it does. So when you have predictable, fair collaboration and you have many minds working together, you can scale to solve any problem. It's remarkable. Now, inefficiencies in open source all basically boil down to reducing collaboration. Anything that reduces collaboration is an inefficiency or a challenge in open source. It might be different code bases doing the same thing. It might be people arguing over licensing. It might be anything. But anything that reduces collaboration is an efficiency. Now we always want to increase efficiency. That's a basic concept of business. We always want to increase efficiency. I think we can agree on that no matter what our product, our market sector, or our approach. Open source license compliance is an opportunity for efficiency. Many people mistake open source license compliance as a cost center but it's actually an opportunity to increase the efficiency of open source for yourself and for the larger ecosystem. Remember, what we want is increased collaboration to allow scaling in every direction. We need it to be fair for that to happen. So making sure that it is fair is a great opportunity. Open source license compliance reduces three important things. The first is legal and reputation risk. The second is the cost of custom process management. If you try to do things differently to everyone else, you have to reinvent the wheel. You have to try to do everything from scratch in a different way 
and justify it. That's expensive. And there are costs related to compliance violations that go beyond legal or reputation. It's all types of time wasting, all types of costs of other resources. These inefficiencies are unnecessary. Open source license compliance reduces or removes these inefficiencies. Now, many companies do a great job of reducing this inefficiency internally. Companies have engineers with great open source knowledge. They have good legal teams. They have good training and good processes. They do a great job internally. However, most companies in the world doing software rely on a supply chain. They are not alone. They have suppliers. We can significantly improve efficiency around open source license compliance in the supply chain. Open source license compliance across the supply chain is not that efficient yet. There are many errors in transferring code between companies. And those errors cost time and energy and money. We can significantly increase trust between organizations in the supply chain. We can improve the way that code flows through the supply chain. So we need to spend less time reviewing and double checking code. And we can spend more time building our products and deploying to market. In essence, more trust means more collaboration, means more efficiency. This is the argument behind thinking very seriously about open source license compliance in the supply chain. When you look at the long-term picture of using code and suppliers over many years, you don't want to be double-checking what's happening again and again and again in the same way. You don't want custom processes. You don't want to have the same mistakes occur again and again. Now, how can we build this? How can we solve this problem? What can we make to address it? This was a question first asked about three years ago when a group of lawyers, mostly, from many international companies started chatting about this informally. And most of them were from very large companies with very long supply chains. And they said, what can we do for the global supply chain? Because one company, even a multinational, is not powerful enough to influence the global supply chain. But maybe if we were all working together and we could think of a simple solution, we could make the global supply chain better. And that's how the idea of the Open Chain Project was born. The Open Chain Project builds trust by making open source license compliance simpler and more efficient. It makes it more consistent in the supply chain. That's a big statement. That could mean almost anything. It could, for example, mean that Open Chain Project has very long and complex lists of rules that all suppliers must follow. Or it could mean that open chain is very vague and badly defined. Of course, the real trick, the real challenge, was to make open chain as simple as possible, but not too simple. So that if a company could engage with open chain, their supply chain approach could be trusted. The Open Chain Project is designed to address the question of how do I trust open source compliance in my supply chain? What do I need as the bare minimum to trust open source compliance in the supply chain? There are three parts to the Open Chain Project. The first part is a specification. The specification is the heart of open chain. The second part is conformance. The third part is curriculum. 
the idea is that any organization can conform to the specification with or without help from the curriculum. And any organization conforming to open chain makes it easier to trust their open source compliance approach. We know that if they conform to open chain, they have certain ideas about inbound software, how they deal with software, and outbound software that match the global norms. So we can trust these companies more easily. We know that challenges are less likely. Trust makes procurement easier for purchasers, and it makes preferred status easier for suppliers. The idea is actually to boost the economics of open source, to help suppliers get a better position for selling their services or product, and to help purchasers make an easier decision when choosing whose service or product to purchase. You can trust these entities more than these entities for these reasons. That's the idea. That's why we made the project. 